Okay, today I'm going to tell you how to test and check out and debug your Onzen system on your Arctic Spa hot tub. So, typically this will go bad and you need to replace it. So because this is under the water, what you do is you twist this thing off, pull it out, lift it up out of the water where it's dry, take this screw out, pull this thing off, get a new one, put it back in, submerge this back under the water and gently tuck those wires in and replace it. Well, and if that doesn't work, then you need to decide if this housing, which has electronic components in it here, and a cord through a waterproof plug here is your problem. So in order to do that on a quick diagnosis, because this is all inside your tub underwater, the way to do it is to go purchase a new one of these, which I didn't know and understand, and then just unplug it from inside the compartment, take the new one that is completely assembled, put it in the water, and if it's plugged in, just draped out over the top of the hot tub and it starts to bubble then you know your housing has a problem and as a matter of fact this was my problem with my housing right there there's a little cut so water's gotten in that and caused this to short out and go bad so I needed a whole new housing so in order to replace this I had to drain my tub and I have to open up the compartments on the side of the hot tub which take just a little hex wrench and then make sure your hot tub has enough clearance to get your doors out and then on the side of the hot tub you need a great big monstrous pair of pliers to reach in there and loosen the bolt on this and you literally actually kind of have to go inside the tub cavity upside down in order to do that and another safety tip before you drain your tub Make sure you put a cap over the other sensor that needs to stay wet all the time. Don't ask me how I know that because I gotta go buy a new sensor. So I just drained my hot tub and that sensor went bad on me. So let me uh, move the camera a little bit and show you some angles on where this wire is, how it works, and then we'll go into the tub which I've already drained and I've already actually replaced it once and I used the wrong kind of silicone. You need to go get marine silicone. You need to get something that is acceptable for 100% underwater use like aquarium fish tank silicone. I got silicone, silicone caulking for the kitchen bathtub and that didn't work. It says not usable for underground or underwater full-time use. So. That kind of bummed me out, so I'm redoing this so I know all the steps. So, all right, so right here, these are the same hex bolts. And be careful with them because they just go into the wood into little metal nut, nut inserts. You're in the side of your tub. Take those out, pull the wall off, and from this cavity, you can reach in and find the cord and it's just got a, a simple thread on it. And it's not really watertight, it's just so it doesn't come apart. You pull that apart and there's a little key and two male parts and a, two female parts there. So you just key that together, so you take this apart connect the new one to test it and or take this apart and connect the new one once you're replacing it. So to put it back together you just slide it in there thread the cap on. So now let's go look in the tub and see where the piece is we're replacing. Okay this is the piece we're actually replacing and you silicone it in and there's a nut behind it and then once the nut comes off behind it you just kind of pull that out and on the opposite wall of my tub this is the sensor that is not supposed to get dried out which is a bummer I forgot completely about this 
And when you drain your tub, there's a, a cap you can actually put on here that will keep it um, wet. But I didn't do that, so I've got to figure out how to replace that by any one of those. And I think they're about a hundred bones. Yucca. Okay, that's what we're going to replace. And you can see the cord is on the bottom. And there's a big old nut. So I'm going to reach in there with a wrench. Loosen that up. Push it out. Clean the silicone off it. And re-silicone it with aquarium silicone. Okay, silicone. so this was brilliant. I've got an oil pipe wrench wrapped around, pushed up against the other pipe here. And then I've got my great big wrench in the back to keep it from spinning so I can take that off. This is a really a hard reach to get in here, so don't pretend it's going to be easy. Okay, well I got it. I ended up moving my hot tub way out so I could access it in there. And the way I moved the hot tub is just like this. I put a 2x4 under the edge. And just lift it up. Walk it an inch or so. And, uh, oh by the way, have a good 2x4. Because the one I just tried wasn't that good and I broke it three times and went down to better. So, there we go. That wraps up the Quicko Changeo. Well, not really Quicko and not really Changeo of the Onzen system on a Arctic Spa hot tub. Have any questions? Uh, leave comments below, like, subscribe, tell your friends, get in your hot tub and have a cold drink.